What's up everybody, Andre from CFX Films here, and I am playing Red Alliance. This is a game that I had the pleasure of working on with my friend Roman. Roman is the creator of this game. He spent, gosh, was it like six years working on this game? He's worked extremely hard on it with just a few people, and I was the guy who did all the music for it. Uh, and a bunch of the particle effects, but I don't even know if he actually ended up using them. I did not make that fire. I did more of like the, the particle hits and impacts and things for weapons. They're probably not in this final game though. But anyway, yeah, so I did the music for this and uh, it's a lot of it actually. It was like 30 minutes of music and I think most of it is actually in here. So I hope that it makes the experience just that much better. Uh, the game is already, oh, that made sound when it fell over. That was cool. Oh, that's so cool. You can break bottles. The game is already really well made, and so far I think it's been well received. I'm really excited to see what people are actually saying about it, and uh, I'm going to be playing it. I don't know what he's changed since then. Ha, that's the code for the game, most likely. You can't zoom in. Let me see if I can jump up here. Yeah, here we go. All right, it's pro public static bull. This is game save script. All right, so this is the game save script. I assume that's it. So, man, this actually functionality-wise, it's a lot better than it was before. I'm going to see how he's improved the game since the original demo that I played probably, I think, two years ago. If you guys have seen that video on my channel, that is what this game was then. Um, I think you can uh, see the, the changes that have been made since then. And if you want to see the video yourself, go ahead and check it out. I love the graphics updates. Uh, he added volumetrics. The volumetrics already make the game look a million times better and still like standard shaders and things like that. So it's not it's not really um, it's not really advanced graphics, but it still looks really good stylistically and it has a very nice tone to it, which it's going after this. See, there you go. It's going after this like Half-Life uh, esque feel. So this looks like an improved version of the Source engine. Ah, ah. Uh, no, he did not use my hip effects, but what is that? Roman, you gotta update your particle effects. What is that? <laughs> Alright. When their heads blow off, they still make these dying noises. It's funny. Ah. Nice blood effects. That's good. Oh, did he add the... Oh, he added the heat distortion on the head? I don't know what's happening there. It's interesting. More ammo. Use this bottle. Okay, so there... Oh, hey, I do get hurt on the flames. So there are the distortion. He has the heat distortion. So it's not using uh, HDRP. Most likely this is an older version of Unity. I believe so. I believe that's what he said. Oh, okay, where'd the key go? Uh, did I drop it in the fire? Oh, all right. You just pick it up now. You used to have to manually bring the key card to the devices, but that's been fixed. Now, this game is insanely difficult, so that's why I am playing on easy mode. Sorry, Roman. Uh, I've played this game already on harder difficulties, the older versions, and I do not want to... Oh! Hello. Uh, I do not want to have to go through that again. Huh. Looks like he has a, a super charge hit. Roman, you know what that super charge hit reminds me of? Hint, hint. Yeah, and the volumetrics look really good. Uh, that's just, I think it's just the HX volumetric tools from the Unity Asset Store, which uh, if you're a Unity user, definitely check that out. Unless you're on HDRP, then those do not work at all. Then you have to use uh, density volume in their other, other system. Is this light just floating? Oh yeah, it's just floating. Great sound effects, though. Ah, here. So many more details. Man, Rome, you did you put a lot of work into just filling up these scenes. It's an insane amount of work. Scenes look much better. It's definitely inspiring me to add a lot more details in my game, too, which I'm working on a game that I'm going to be announcing soon. The one that I've been trying to tell you guys a little bit about for so long, but haven't been able to. Uh, the time is coming where I'm going to announce it, so really excited about that. Okay, a little bit too much volumetric lighting in here. 
Also, you might just want to get a new fire effects too, because the fire effects um, don't seem to match the rest of the, the quality. Also, sparks move a lot faster than that. I think this is just like a default flame. Yeah. Oh, I love the sounds. You have the impact sounds for when objects are dropping. Yeah, and have a tin can. Excellent. Excellent sound effects. Really happy about that. So they, they take quite a few hits to take down. Any secrets? No secret items. Nice. You should add a, like a broken a broken texture on it. Ah, what's up here? Let's read this. Second up news. So Red Alliance released. Ah, it's the game news. It's about the game actually being released. Probably on Steam. Is that your backyard? Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have broken those boxes. There's plenty of objects. I assume you can break the game by breaking all the objects that you need to, to move around. Uh, let's do the bag. The drop sounds are pretty loud. There we go. Oh. You don't even have to go up here. I think uh, it really helped to have the game evolving uh, or have the music evolving with the game. And I'm very happy with the, the way that this game turned out. Oh, yeah, the console. You can add, like, health and things like that. So, I know there's a lot of scary elements in this game. I would love to show that if I can in this video. Uh, let me go up there really quick and see what's up here. Oh, this one's the way to go. I guess I should have went the other way first. Hmm. The water shader seems to be really low resolution. Uh, you might want to check that out. May possibly update it. Something gonna pop up behind me? No, not yet. I don't know. I don't know where he changed the jump scare. So, oh wow, you got actually distorted image on the puddle. That's really that's really cool. So we have to go down here. I'm waiting for new jump scares or things because I, I I remember the jump scares in the demo, so I don't know if, uh, if they're gonna be here yet. Or if he's changed it, but I'm going to assume that he has. Yeah, lots of lots of volumetric noise. It's good. Looks good. Time for some scary stuff. Let's see what let's see what ends up happening here. Anything gonna be running out at me yet? I don't know if you updated the zombies. There's some zombies in this game too. Uh, I have no idea, but I will I will assume that he has. Oh, I remember this part. This is like the, the, the cavern, or not the cavern, like the sewer, uh, sort of L.A. sewage line. Yeah, there it is. All right. Here's my music again. The That's not the kind of water that's supposed to be there. All right. Might want to adjust the water, also the density of the water. It looks like normal water, like crystal clear. Might want to maybe... Uh, it's not crystal clear, but maybe you should um, try changing the, the actual water to something really murky. Or looking like it's in a sewer. Kind of muddy water, dirty water. Maybe some dirt um, textures sort of scrolling on the surface. Or like debris, so it looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a while. Or this dude? Who's this guy? Hello. Hey. Seems like you managed to escape as well. So you know in Halo, whenever you, you ran out of weapons, you just kill one of your teammates and they drop weapons or you can trade with them. Yeah, that's sort of how I treat this game. Uh where am I where where? There it is. Maybe not, the uh, the hit indicators should bend as you're rotating the screen so you can track to see where they're coming from. Not because if you are, if you are getting hit while you're turning, you have to then trace back to figure out where it was that the angle was, so you could trip, you know, track where the guys are. I think it's just more intuitive if it just rotates with you as you turn around, so you can actually track where they are. All right, anything over here? 
All right, take that. Really like the boxes, how they open up. Nice car model. And he's got um, a guy who did all his custom modeling for him, so that's been that's been pretty cool. Oh yeah, the sniper. I will take that. I love the sniping in the game. My favorite part. Oh man, it automatically zooms you out so you can't see the... Oh uh, no, it's it's more satisfying if you can see it. The first time that I've seen it done very well is in Bad Company where you fire and you click down and then uh, when you let go, that's when it zooms out of the scope. That's just so you can track your shots. I think it works really well that way because then you're able to actually see what you're hitting and just remain scoped until you actually have to let go. All right, here's my battle music. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, I'm out of ammo. Let's see, what do I got here? I have a pistol with a lot of ammo. Why did he drop a pistol? I know this is weird. There was this weird situ- What? It- Why is there a shoe here? There was a situation where you could, um... Just keep finding weapons and, uh, picking them up from the dead bodies and you would just consistently get more and more ammo, sort of like infinite ammo. There it is. He likes hiding these secret weapons throughout the game. And I knew there would what there would be one back here. Never found that one. Oh, God, oh well, okay. Bye guys. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. Now we're good. See now he's gonna drop the oh get a little bit more ammo. Fifteen bullets. Uh he has this one. Eh, I like this one though. This one seems more powerful. Sky Rush. A re a retro platformer coming soon, I wonder. I wonder if it is. Croc Croco Croco Crispies by Nierda. Okay. Ah, uh, I forgot where to go. Hmm. Okay, so I came from over there. I assume we just have to keep moving this direction. Ah, more guys. Music changed, so I guess the battle's over. I would have so been dead right now if I was playing on normal difficulty. So yeah, like in like in the easy mode. It was very fun, really, really happy with how the shooting mechanics turned out. Seems like you've spent a lot of time and you know what you're doing. I should hire you to work on my game. Hint, hint. Alright, so I gotta go in here. I think this is a checkpoint. Leave me alone. I don't want to get in trouble. You won't get in trouble. Oh, I had to reload. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna take that as a sign. You live. You get to live this time. I'll be like Harvey Dent, right? That was the 50-50 coin. Hmm. I'll find it. Here it is. Yeah. Okay. So we got to go up here. We got to blow up this wall. Nice. It's a cool effect. Love the swinging wire script that he built. He built his own sort of wire system. Very cool. I remember this guy. He kind of looks like Mads Mikkelsen a little bit. Is this just like a default character model? I don't know what software you use to make him. Nice. See how good my aim is. Hell, ever come back to this city again. Nice model. Some fun while I'm here. I was hoping you get me out of the city. Oh, I can ring the doorbells. That's cool. Very cool. Ah, substance shaders. Looks like substance shaders. Just 
Oh, that's cool. He's got... He has a flashlight on. That's actually really neat. Although, it's a little buggy when they look at you because you can see it jumping around as they jump around. They're turning. And their animations could be smoother. Some Mixamo animations there. Which is cool. It's like it's like the indie way. It's an affordable solution. No shame in that. Oh, I'm losing my health quickly. I want that gun. Alright, let's go pick up our ammo. Well, if you guys want to get a key for this game, I want to see what you've made in Unity. Show me one of your personal Unity projects and just show me that you're doing something really cool and I'm going to pick at random from one of you guys that, uh, you know, send me your, your Unity projects and you will get a key to this game. Since this game is made in Unity, I'm making my latest game in Unity and I really support Unity developers. So show me what you guys are working on. Just email it to me and I will email you guys a key at random if I pick you for the winner. And let me not get hit by the sniper. All right, let's get on the train. Uh, I'm gonna die. This is not a safe spot. All right, I think we're okay now. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Again, this is Red Alliance. It's available on Steam now. Go get it. Support indie development. Support my friend Roman. And I will see you guys next time.